Top 10 Best Things to Do in Paphos, Cyprus When planning a trip to Paphos, this coastal city is undoubtedly a top destination. Renowned for its Roman mosaics, rich ancient history, pristine beaches, and its status as Aphrodite's birthplace, Paphos offers a plethora of activities. Whether it's sailing, exploring Roman ruins, basking under the sun on beautiful beaches, or swimming in crystal clear waters, there is something for everyone. With a multitude of attractions and activities, finding the best things to do in Paphos is a breeze, ensuring a memorable family vacation. This travel guide presents the top 10 must-visit attractions in Paphos, ensuring endless entertainment for you and your family. Let's get started. Number 10. Explore Nicosia in a day trip If you want to go on a really good day trip from Paphos, the best choice is to visit the capital city called Nicosia. Many people who come to Cyprus prefer the coast, but we suggest spending at least one day in Nicosia to experience a different part of Cyprus compared to the coastal cities. Nicosia is not too far from Paphos. It's just an hour and 45 minute drive along the main road. It's a good idea to start your journey early so you have enough time to enjoy all the interesting things in the capital of Cyprus. Number 9. Explore Cato Paphos Archaeological Park one more place you should definitely see in Paphos is the Cato Paphos Archaeological Park. It's like an outdoor museum where you can find old things from a long time ago in Paphos. These things are from different times in the history of Cyprus, from a very long time ago until not too long ago. When you go there, you'll see lots of interesting stuff. You should plan to stay for an hour or two at least. The most amazing things there are the very well-kept pictures made of small pieces called mosaics. They show different shapes and stories from old Greek stories. You'll find these mosaics in old broken houses. They're signs that explain what they are, but it's helpful to know a bit about old Greek stories before you go so you can understand them better. In this big area, there are also really cool old Roman houses and a special Roman theater to explore. You'll also see broken pillars, temples, and other interesting things. It's clear that this place is one of the best things to see in Paphos. Number 8. Visit the Paphos Old Town Even though there are many old places to visit and a beach to relax on, don't forget about the old town when you're thinking about what to do in Paphos. The old town is a nice place to walk around, with lots of restaurants, shops, and cozy cafes along the streets. You'll also find some pretty paintings on the walls that bring a modern touch to the old streets. Just taking some time to walk around and discover Paphos is always a good plan. Number 7. Enjoy the Adonis Baths if you're okay with driving on a bumpy road, you might want to check out the Adonis Baths and Waterfall in Cyprus. Many people think it's one of the best things to do there. The road to get there isn't smooth, it's full of holes and bumps. But the good news is, you can use any type of car to reach it. Even though the baths are just 14 kilometers away from the city center of Paphos, it'll take you around 30 minutes to get there because of the rough road. So if you're up for a bit of an adventure and don't mind the road conditions, the Adonis Baths and Waterfall are worth a visit in Cyprus. Number 6. Experience Kiko's Monastery's Rich Heritage If you want to have a fun day trip from Paphos, you should definitely check out the Kikos Monastery. It's a really nice place. You have to drive for about an hour and 45 minutes from central Paphos to get there, but it's worth it. The monastery is in the mountains of the Paphos Forest and is very pretty. Kikos Monastery is known to be the richest and fanciest monastery in Paphos, Cyprus. You can go inside the monastery for free, and they give you clothes to cover your shoulders and legs if you need them. There's also a museum inside the monastery that you can check out. Number 5. Go on a trip to the Akamas Peninsula If you want to go on a nice day trip from Paphos, you should definitely consider visiting the Akamas Peninsula. It's a national park in Cyprus not too far north from the center of Paphos, and it has a lot of cool stuff to see and do. You can find some quiet beaches there and a few easy hiking trails. One of them is called the Aphrodite Trail, named after Aphrodite, the goddess of love, who is said to have been born in Paphos. You can also enjoy some beautiful natural views. We suggest going to the Baths of Aphrodite, which are on the northern side of the peninsula. This is where the Aphrodite Trail starts, and there's a lovely beach nearby where you can swim in calm waters. They even have showers and places to change, and it doesn't cost anything to enter. On your way to the Akamas Peninsula, just outside of Paphos, you might want to stop and check out the sea caves in the town of Paea. They're similar to the sea caves you can find in Aea Napa on the eastern side of the island. Number 4. Embark on an Adventure to Blue Lagoon if you go to the Akamas Peninsula, a really exciting thing to do is visit the Blue Lagoon. 
You can get there in different ways, and it's not far from the Baths of Aphrodite. You can walk, but it might be really hot in the summer. You can also take a special four-wheel drive shuttle, because the road is not paved and normal cars can't go there, or you can choose to go on a boat ride. Number 3. Discover the Aphrodite's Rock One of the most famous places in Cyprus is Aphrodite's Rock, and it's one of the top attractions in Paphos. People believe that this small beach and rock formation is where the ancient Greek goddess of love and beauty, Aphrodite, was born. In old stories, it's not clear exactly where Aphrodite was born. Some say it was a Greek island called Kythera, but one thing is for sure, this place is incredibly beautiful, just like where Venus, the Roman goddess, would be born. You can go for a swim at Aphrodite's Rock, and there are places to change and take a shower near the parking lot. The beach is around a 20-minute drive south of Paphos city center. Number 2. Relax at Lara Beach Lara Beach is a beautiful and quiet beach near Paphos, not far from the Ikamas Peninsula. It's special because sea turtles lay their eggs here, so you can't put sunbeds or umbrellas on the beach to protect the turtle eggs. Sometimes you can see baby sea turtles heading to the sea in the morning or evening. You can drive to this beach, but the road is rough, and it takes about 40 minutes. If you have a regular car, it's best to drive slowly to avoid problems. Many people choose to rent a four-wheel drive car or join a Jeep tour to get to Lara Beach instead. And number one, ascend Trudos Mountains for spectacular views. If you want to do something different in Paphos away from the beach, you should go to the Trudos Mountains. While most people come to Cyprus for the beaches, the mountain villages have a lot to offer too. It's cooler here and you can try the local food. The atmosphere is also different from the coast. The most popular village in the Trudos Mountains is probably Amotos. It's also very welcoming to tourists. It's at the base of the mountains and is surrounded by many wineries. This beautiful village is worth walking around, and there are lots of shops selling local food and handmade items. If you want to explore deeper into the Trudos from Paphos for a day, you might consider visiting the charming village of Kakapetria. It's a lovely place to walk around, and it's not as crowded with tourists as Amotos. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the top 10 best things to do in Paphos, Cyprus. We hope you're inspired to explore this beautiful destination. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more travel content, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, safe travels!